Pindah ke Dato. Pindah ke Grabi. Bogo kah? Pindah Mike. Feeling sweet to Bogo dia. It's the WNBA on 2K Sports. Welcome in, everybody. We and on tap tonight, it's the Indiana Fever going up against the Atlanta Dream. With Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're thrilled to have you with us. Now here is Canada, the right honor. That's in, coming off an assist from Ryan Howard. That's some good awareness from Howard right there. She is excellent at getting the ball to her open teammates. Here's Swish. From outside, off the mark. And so much success for Ryan Howard coming into the W. The number one pick, rookie of the year, and an all-star as a rookie. And I think her trajectory is clear. She's working to improve her shooting percentages and getting back to that elite efficiency we saw at Kentucky. And it's in. Now Mabry. About a minute into this first quarter. Over Lloyd. It's rebounded by Kune. Pass to Swish. Foul call that time on the way up, and that will give her two chances at the free throw line. And already just a little bit into the season, the elite teams are starting to separate themselves. Yeah, and for the teams in the opposite position, this is a critical time as well. You don't want to dig too big of a hole. Absolutely. With the level of competition in the WNBA, it's not easy to get back into playoff position once it hits the midway point of the season. They've had a cold start so far. Just one for five from the floor here early. Good. And just a huge hole in the defense, and she didn't waste any time going through it. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes played. Outside Mabry. Thirteen feet out. Green with the rebound. Now here's Swish. She's got six. Knocks down the three ball. Each trip down becoming more important. Yeah, they need to string together some successful offensive possessions and play tough deep. Now here is Canada. Here's Wheeler. And she battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. The D got caught standing around that time and giving up the second chance points. They need more effort than that on the boards. That can't happen. Absolutely. Here's Swish. She's got nine. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. Atlanta in the lead. the glass to finish the layup. And their offense already flowing. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. They're getting great looks and they're capitalizing. You know, they have to be pleased with this start offensively. Here's Canada. It's stolen by Kalia Cooper. Pass break. Here come the dream. Swish with it. Powers there. That's in. It's her fifth field goal. She's shooting hot. 71%. Five for seven. Outside Canada. Screen by Wheeler. Puts it up from 12. The shot by Canada, no good. And here the dream. Here's Swish. And there's another one for the dream. This has been a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring from the paint. You know, really, that's why they're on this run. You get that, that close to the hoop, and it's a lot easier to drop shots in. Now, here's Howard. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Copper. That is her first foul of the game. Tried to step in and cut her off, but not quick enough. Yeah, just one step late to get there and didn't establish position. Just a tough, tough play for that defender. Here's Canada. 
Pass to Wheeler. Oh, and she bangs it home with one hand. And you just have to appreciate the intelligence in Canada's game. She knows exactly how to break up the defense and create for her team. Swish. Good. She's finding all kinds of ways to get it going right now. What a quarter she's having. Now Mabry. On the wing, Jordan Horson. And she can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Now here's Swift. Mabry covering the cloud. That falls. Nice speed that time from Drew Roy. Well, they're off to an incredible start from long range. Yeah, lighting it up from outside. Hard to keep up with this. Here's Canada. Side, Wheeler can't get it to fall. She got ahead of herself there and just lost her concentration. At least that's what I think. First quarter concludes and a double-digit lead on the scoreboard. And we'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move into the second. And uh, the dream have been rolling along, haven't they? Well, we've seen them really get out and establish an offensive rhythm. And they're finding ways to score, you know, playing well and getting good offense. Now here's Howard. Finds herself wide open and drills it. Most of the time, Howard is looking to score. But right there, she smartly gives it away to someone with a better shot. Well, let's it go from deep. Swish. Good. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over again. They might have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. Bucket is good. Great communication between teammates there. And here's Melbourne. Pass to Swish. From beyond the arc. Good for her ninth make and just 12 shots and even 75% shooting. 12 straight points off the three-pointers and the D looks shell-shocked. And now that they're rolling from out there, you've got to get it in their jersey and try to deny those looks. Especially how well people shoot threes these days. From outside the arc, and again, Atlanta with the triple. Boy, Ryan, that's five straight made three-pointers. The defense giving up a barrage. Most teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide open threes, but they just aren't figuring it out. You go out there and tell them, Brian. Okay, maybe I will. Just five to shoot. Pulls up on the elbow. And again, it's Indiana converting. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it did not work. Not if it results in that shot. Atlanta calls timeout. Atlanta with the ball. And good that time. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket for a terrific assist. You know, they've done a lot of that today. And you know, it's something we haven't seen much at the opposite end of the court. Now here's Howard, looking for her first basket still in this one. Top of the key jumper, no good. She had all the space she needed, but just could not find the bottom of the bucket. Makes it off the glass. They've done good work with the ball. They've been uh, moving and getting quality chances. And their field goal percentage reflects that. They've been the much better team shooting the ball. And it's not just about shooting, Brian, as we were just mentioning. It's about moving, cutting, all the little things. Coach has to be furious. Obviously, a defensive lapse there. She is automatic from deep. If, if you leave her wide open, big mistake. The top pick of the 2022 draft, Ryan Howard had no issues adjusting to the pro game. Well, in addition to winning Rookie of the Year, Howard was also named an All-Star, scoring 16 per game, and just a great personality, a fantastic addition to the league. Now here is Canada. Pass to Horston. Five on the clock. Over Copper. 
Forced in, no good. You got to give them credit for the job they've done on the boards. Well, guys, they've done a lot of things well, but their rebounding is right at the top of the list. And nothing has come easily for them today. Not at all. And it isn't what you'd call the best of performances from them. To the paint. Here's Wheeler. Another shot. And two free throws coming up as she misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact. It's on Kalia Copper. The first free throw is good. So both teams changing it up here. So she picks up just one from the line that time. Here's Swish. And you can count it. She'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Heads up, aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller defender on her and took it straight to the bucket for the easy two. Here's Canada. Screen by Wheeler. From about 10 feet out, connects the jumper drops. In the two-player game, Jordan Canada can do anything. Dish it, take it, just deadly. Here's Swish. Gets a three-pointer to fall. That's just great ball movement. And that's key this run. Passing it with a purpose. The D has not been able to keep up. Now here's Horston. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Really nice pass from Horston showing some playmaking. The dream on offense. Here's Swish. And again, Atlanta with the triple. She's having one of the best shooting days that I can remember from outside. Now, eight seconds separating the two clocks. Outside Howard. Forced in the screen. There's the three. It's rebounded by Atlanta. A solid performance inside. You know, they're rebounding. It's been terrific. They're putting together a great game, aren't they? Strong performances throughout, and they've just been strong on the glass. And it sets a tone. Howard with the ball. With one on the clock, hit the shot at the very last second. The pressure on her in those circumstances was massive. Pressure? What pressure? You cannot rattle her no matter what the situation is. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Dream out in front, running away with it. And we've got more in store for you right after this. Welcome back to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the final two quarters. And without question, Swish displaying her skill set today. How about her scoring in the first half? She's looked like a, a very different player today, an elite player. Yeah, and she's been a, a pleasant surprise for them, that's for sure. She really hit on something that worked in those first two quarters. Teams first. First team foul. Here's Horston. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Mabry up top, covered by Lloyd. Just five on the clock. Stolen by Swish. Here's Kune, guarded by Howard. And that'll be Atlanta's ball as it goes out of bounds. Dream able to keep the ball here. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. Mabry covering. Here's Swish. Yes, on the jump shot. The defense has been unable to slow her down. What a game. So no problem for Atlanta as they get the win. A
Come on, pick up left! Oh, oh, shit. Shit. 
Welcome to WNBA Basketball on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Atlanta Dream going up against the Washington Mystics. Here with Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and it's good to have you with us. This could be a terrific game. We've got two of the most up-tempo teams in the league. All right, these are my favorite types of games. They're very similar in terms of style, and it's not just about uh, running the floor. It's about defensive intensity, too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so often, these battles between fast-paced teams boil down to who plays better transition defense. Swish, good. Oh, some quick uh, retaliation right there, huh, guys? Yeah, sure didn't take them long to go and get those three points back. Inside, Quinn, an easy two points on the layup. It makes it so easy for your teammate when you can lead her to the rim with a pass like that. Pass to Swish, shoots a three, drains it from beyond the arc. Three points. We played just over a minute here in the first. He can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Swish with it, guarded by Austin. From the arc, Swish can't hit. To the middle. And that one's good, Austin. You know, she's not going to force anything on offense. Austin plays within the flow of the game, takes smart shots. Here's Swish. And she Number uses 24. the glass on the layup. Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. <laughs> to the paint. Outside Evans. Pass to Quinn, six to shoot. Evans with the bucket. Four or five shots have dropped for them already. Not a bad way to get things started. Now Swish. Cans it from downtown. And at four of five now, we're looking at a nice start offensively and she looks ready to make an impact. Takes it from 10, count the basket. Atlanta trailing here. From deep. And the dream, another three. Yeah, you know how a lot of people talk about flipping the switch? Well, her switch has definitely been flipped to on in this quarter, guys. I mean, just dominant scoring. Great unspoken communication between teammates, leading to the nice assist and easy two. Pass to Swish. It's good as five others before it were. She's now shooting six for seven. She's finding all kinds of ways to get it going right now. What a quarter she's having. Outside Evans. To the inside. And it's Atlanta with the rebound. Yeah, remember that. I mean, that's not an opportunity she fails to convert very often. And they're going to count the bucket and send her to the line. It could be a three-point play. 
So both teams making some changes here. And the free throw, no good. The Mystics trailing. Thomas outside, down low. Down it goes, her third basket. He's now three for four. Well, it's definitely been a shootout, but the team that could start playing some defense might have an edge. And here's Washington. Outside Evans, wide open look. It's rebounded by Sabali. The defenders cannot lose back and forth because usually that shot will go down. That's their third straight make off an assist, and it's always good when you can score points by getting teammates involved. Yeah, that's just great ball movement. To the inside, Nelson Adota. Nice pass, led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Everybody on the floor is hot. It's incredible stuff here in the early going. Yeah, both teams playing downhill, but somebody's got to cool off eventually, right, Tim? I hope not. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock in-game clock. Here's Thomas. Offline with the three. Atlanta leading. Pass to Swish. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Her stroke has been dead on. Inside, outside, wherever. The shots are falling for her. Here's Thomas. That's tipped. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. It's the dream. Up four. Substitutions. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. You have to make sure your feet are set. Uh, when you set those screens, or they'll get you for it. I thought maybe she was set. Now, I know that's a difficult call to make, but I think maybe they got that one wrong. Now here's Swish, guarded by Austin. Pass to Swish. Unloads. Ooh, no luck on that one. You know, she might be a little overconfident if she's taking shots like that. I don't care how many shots she's hitting. She's never hitting that one. Here's Quinn. Austin. Wall, covered by Lloyd. Unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. It's rare to see her come up empty on such a wide-open look. Swish. Guarded by Austin. Here's Swish. That one is off. Great D that time from Shakira Austin. Hall. Covered by Lloyd. And that one's good. Austin. This has been a thriller. You can't say enough about the way these teams have battled each other. All signs point to this thing going all the way down to the wire. I'd be shocked if it ended any other way, Tim. I'd certainly take that right. And that one's good. Lloyd. As a defense, you can't let that happen. You know, let Lloyd step into a jumper. Too deadly to allow the catch and shoot. Here's Quinn. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. How about that for a response? We'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. It's turning into a three-point contest. Toscano takes it to the teeth of the D and converts the layup. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. Pass to Austin. Down to five on the shot clock. Wall from outside, off the mark. And here's Melbourne. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Swish, good. When they've gone to her, she's come through. Keep getting her touches. Huh. 
to the paint. And that one's good, Austin. But right now, Austin is feeling it, and it would be wise to keep getting her the rock, keep feeding her. Pass to Swish. For three. Rebounded by the Mystics. You know, it's not been the best quarter for her as far as uh, scoring. We'll see if she can get back on track. Hall. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Of their last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is smash mouth basketball, guys. Yeah, they're really imposing their will offensively and getting exactly the kind of looks they want. There's Jewel Lloyd with the three. Knocks down the three ball. You know, as her career has unfolded, Lloyd has become a much more consistent three-point shooter. It's become a huge strength of hers. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going on here. Dream out in front. They lead by three. Hold tight. We've got more basketball action headed your way. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. And without question, Swish displaying her skill set today. She put on a show from three-point range in the first half. We'll see if the halftime break had any cooling effect on her. Well, we'll soon find out because I guarantee they're going to keep feeding her the rock beyond the arc until she does cool off. And again, the dream score. One aspect of their play today that's been far superior is their passing. And that kind of flow, it can be elusive, uh, but the great offenses have it. And that's just what they've shown tonight. Here's Evans. The three-pointer off the mark. Atlanta with the ball. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good, and she'll go to the line. Number 44. The Mystics trailing. Pass to Austin. Hall. Hits it from three-point range. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Swish, good. Nothing but money for him to start the half. They're three for three. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. And during the 2020 Wubble playoffs, Jewel Lloyd was unreal for the Storm. A huge reason Seattle won that title. Lloyd was basically 50-40-90. He had 28 points in game one of the finals, picking up her second win. Really, she's been a bright spot for them. She's had a very efficient offensive performance. Yeah, who knows how much bigger the lead would be if it wasn't for her shooting. Lloyd from long range. And it's Austin with the rebound. There's three of four to start the second half. Pass to Quinn. Hall. The offensive rebound. Here's Evans. Yes, and it's Shakira Austin picking up the assist. Another bucket in the paint. That's just something they have not been able to stop today. And if they want to win this game, they got to figure out how to stop it. You know, Brian, I think it's time to switch things up on D. What they've got going on right now is not getting it done. Swish, good. A nice start to the second half. Just one miss in their first five attempts. Touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Good on the bucket. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. I mean, come on. You can't allow clean looks for deep like that. Hard to win games that way. Yeah, most teams will take you to the deep end and drown you with triples if you let them. And that's what's going on here. 
Evans. Over to the wing. Hall. Tried to come right back with the three of her own, but it's no good. Yeah, and unfortunately, that's been the result for her over and over. I mean, she just cannot find the bottom of the bucket. From beyond the arc, and the dream, another three. A great game for her offensively. She's been a factor. Inside. Austin inside. She's guarded by Swish. Austin sinks that one from the post. Muscling her way in for the board. Austin using her instincts. Atlanta calls timeout. So it's book. Dream. 13 point lead. Pass to Swish. Fires from deep. Atlanta gets it back. Now here's Hole. She's covered by Copper. Hole with the ball. Nelson Adota. Now Hole. She's covered by Copper. Five on the clock. Green with the rebound. Now Kone. Here's Swish. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. The defense has been unable to slow her down. What a game. Thomas outside. The 10 footer. Here's Nelson Adota. Up and in on the layup. Perseverance, it always pays off on the offensive glass. And Atlanta has possession. Pass to Copper. Swish with it. She tries for three. It's rebounded by Thomas. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. And here's Cole. Thomas outside. To the middle. And that one's good, Austin. You know, you simply cannot say enough about her individual performance so far, even if the all-around team effort has been lacking. And the dream call time here. <laughs> Swish sinks the three-pointer. Wow, I mean, what can you say? <laughs> Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Inside, to the paint, six on the shot clock. The 17-footer. Swish grabs the board. It's very dangerous to leave her open like that. Lucky break for the D that she missed it. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Bangs home the trifecta. Well, they're getting their points now almost exclusively from three-point range for the last five makes from beyond the arc. And the defense practically giving them those shots. And they'll take them. Kept alive. Here's Austin. That one, no good. Now here's Swish. She's guarded closely. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. And the three off target. The Mystics really having a tough go here. Here's Quinn. Here's Evans. Count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. Atlanta with the ball. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. There's a screen by Swish. McLeod. It's stolen away. Here's the break. 
The pull up. And the jumper is good. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Outside Lloyd. Pass to Swish. Launches a three. Good on the triple. And that caps off what's been a phenomenal showing for them. Yeah, Tim, I'd like a piece of that cake if I could have it. What type of cake? Evans a screen. Right wing, the three. It's rebounded by Atlanta. On an open look like that, she's just got a gift for making the weak coverage pay. That's a surprising miss. Uh, she's almost always deadly when she's that open, even from way downtown. Terrific run to put this ball game away. And now let's see just how much longer they keep that foot on the accelerator. They've got to keep it on the accelerator to the finish line. Down low, Austin. Swish grabs the board. That's the kind of D that's needed when she's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over her. Here's Lloyd. Lays it up and banks it in. Showing the strength right there. Lloyd busting her way through the paint. Atlanta as they get the win. A resounding victory for them.